Hello everyone, my name is Sarah and today I will be talking about lens corrections and other features found in the Geometry tab in ACDC Pro 10 and Ultimate Ten's Develop Mode. Lens correction is a very powerful and complex ACDC tool that can quickly and effectively correct optical issues in a matter of seconds. The three most common corrections aim to address vignetting, distortion, and chromatic aberration. Vignetting appears as a progressive darkening towards the edges of the image. Distortion appears as otherwise straight lines bending inwards or outwards. Chromatic aberration appears as color fringing along high contrast edges. Being able to identify these three issues is important, because each issue will present themselves with different corrections. Let's start with vignetting. In develop mode, I have chosen an unedited raw photo where you can see the darkening on the corners of the image. Under the geometry tab, you can find the lens correction along with the long list of camera makes, models, and lenses that ACDC Pro 10 and Ultimate 10 supports. Here, I'll click on the Enable Lens Profile box, and immediately we can see the dark corners of the image lighten. I'm not completely satisfied with the result just yet, so I'm going to use a vignette correction and lighten the corners up just a little bit more. Now let's talk about distortion. Here, I have an image with significantly curved lines, which are almost creating a fisheye effect. I also have some vignetting happening in the corners of the image. It's important to note that you can also use the manual correction slider if you please, or are not receiving the desired results with the lens profile. I'll go ahead and enable the lens profile. By clicking it on and off, we can really see the before and after changes. This is a step in the right direction, but I'm still not quite satisfied. Architectural photography is the most sensitive to distortion, whereas many landscapes aren't as noticeably affected. ACDC Ultimate 10 also provides perspective sliders, which can also really help straightening out those stubborn lines. I recommend taking advantage of the grid overlay for straight and parallel lines. There are some disadvantages to distortion correction. Distortion usually requires cropping out curved edges of the corrected frame, which will usually influence the composition. The correction also redistributes the image resolution, making the edges appear slightly sharper. Now, let's talk about chromatic aberration. Reducing chromatic aberration can make an enormous difference in sharpness and image quality. Let's zoom in and take a closer look. In the corners of this image, it's clear that we have some chromatic aberration happening. To correct this issue, I will turn my lens profile on and check chromatic aberration. Here, we can see that the results aren't spectacular, but they have improved the overall sharpness of the image. If the chromatic aberration does not disappear after using lens correction, you can also head over to the detail tab and reduce it here. Lastly, it might be beneficial to know that you can save lens correction presets or use previous presets here for quick and painless batch processing. Thanks for watching this ACDC tutorial. This tutorial was recorded with one of our newest releases, ACDC Video Studio 2. Follow the link to learn more or subscribe for more feature highlights and tutorial videos. Thanks guys!